Police say time is running out in the search for 10-year-old Zara Baker. The little girl suffers from bone cancer, and one thing that's making the search difficult is that officials aren't sure how long she's really been missing. Before we speak exclusively with two members of her family, CBS News correspondent Whit Johnson has the latest on the story from Hickory, North Carolina. Whit, good morning. Maggie, good morning to you. Zara Baker was actually homeschooled this year, and police say they haven't found anyone outside her immediate family who has seen her in the past few weeks. It's now been three days since she's gone missing, and we still know little about what may have happened to her. Police and the FBI are still trying to piece together a timeline of 10-year-old Zara Claire Baker's disappearance. Around 2 p.m. Saturday, Adam Baker called police to report his daughter missing. He also told investigators that his wife said she last saw Zara asleep in her bed about 12 hours earlier. Zara suffers from bone cancer, a disease that's left her with hearing aids in both ears and a prosthetic leg. Both her hearing aids were found in the home. Neighbors say they hadn't seen the girl outside the house in weeks. Investigators found what they believe to be a ransom note addressed to her father's boss. And while authorities haven't ruled out the possibility of a random kidnapping, they have their doubts about the note, which read in part, We have your daughter, and your son is next unless you do what is asked. One million, unmarked, will be in touch soon. We are questioning the validity of that note. We have no further demands from that note. On Sunday, police arrested Elisa Baker, Zara's stepmother, on unrelated charges. Later that night, a search warrant revealed police dogs detected the smell of human remains in two of the Baker's car. I hope and I pray that we'll find her and she'll be okay because that youngin was the best youngin you can ever ask for. Now, there was also a fire reported at the family's home the same day Zara went missing. Police admit this is a complicated case with many layers and they need more help from the public to put the pieces together. Maggie. Whit Johnson in Hickory, North Carolina. Thank you, Whit.